All right, class, so today we're going to be looking at lesson 5-2. Uh, I recommend if you have a printer at home to print this off because uh, we're going to be graphing today. So 5-2, uh, we're going to be looking at how to solve systems by graphing. And our objective is to find the solution to a system of equations using graphs. So we have three different types of uh, systems that we can have. So if we have a line that we've graphed, remember a system is two or more uh, equations. So we've graphed two equations, we have two lines, we have two, three different types of characteristics. The two lines could cross, meaning there's one point that satisfies them. The points or the graphs could overlap, so there's infinitely many. Or they could be parallel, meaning that there is no solution, they don't cross. And we're going to look at three methods in determining what type of system we have. Today we'll be looking at the first method by graphing. So Lee chooses, we're going to look at an example uh, in this case. So Lee is choosing a new cell phone plan. How can she use the graphs of a system of linear equations to determine when the phone plans cost the same? Which plan should she we use? So we have two different plans. We have plan A and we have plan B. So plan A, do plan B in red. Plan A, it costs 20 cents per minute plus an initial value. So per minute tells us that's our slope plus the initial value of $75. And in plan B, the cost is 0 0.25 minutes per minute plus $70. So the initial cost is less, but over time she is paying more per minute. So eventually these two are going to cross. So if we graphed these, we can see, so they've changed it into slope intercept form we can see that they cross at 100 comma 95. So at 100 minutes, at 100 minutes, it costs $95. So for example, at 300 minutes, or let's say, yeah, 300 minutes, it would cost less in company A than company B. So systems are very nice to see where you, you have that break even point and when it might be more beneficial to choose a different product over another one. So let's go ahead and look at how to solve systems by graphing. And we're going to look at how to do this using slope intercept form. So remember it's y equals mx plus b. So in this case we have y equals x minus 4. So y equals x minus 4. Our y-intercept in this one is 1 and our, or excuse me, our slope is 1, our y-intercept is negative 4. So we can graph this at negative 4 and a slope of 1. So we will go up 1 and 1 over, up 1 and 1 over, up 1 and 1 over, up 1 and 1 over. Okay, so we can plot that up one and one over, up one and one over. So we can graph this. There is our line. And you should be using a ruler when you draw these lines. Okay? Our second equation, y equals, or excuse me, 2x. 2x minus 2y equals negative 2. We want to change this into slope-intercept form, so we're going to isolate y. So we'll subtract 2x from both sides first. We have negative 2y equals negative 2x minus 2. We will divide each part by negative 2. So we have y is equal to 1x plus 1. 
So our slope is one, our y-intercept is also one. So our y-intercept is one, and our slope is one. So we will go up one and one over, up one and one over, up one and one over. So when we graph this, we can see that our slopes are the same. So these two lines don't intersect, they are parallel. So we've graphed this, we've solved it, graph the equation, so we've done that. Determine the number, determine the solution. So are there any solutions? No, so there is no solution. Okay, because the lines do not intersect. Let's look at this example here. So we will rewrite these both in slope intercept form. So 5x plus y equals negative three. So we're solving the system by graphing, describes the solutions. I recommend maybe you trying to do these on your own first. These are very similar to the question we just did, and then you could follow along. Great, so now that you've done it, go ahead and follow along. So we subtract 5x from both sides. y equals negative 5x minus 3. So our slope is negative 5, and our y-intercept is negative 3. And our second equation, 10x plus 2y equals negative 6. Subtract 10x from both sides. 2y equals negative 10x minus 6. Divide both sides by 2. Make sure you are dividing each term by 2. So we have y is equal to negative 5x minus 3. So our slope is negative 5 and our y-intercept is negative 3. We can already see that these two are the same equations. So it's actually going to be the exact same line. So at negative three is our y-intercept and our slope is negative five. So if you go down five and one over, that's off the graph. So let's go positive five up, one, two, three, four, five, and negative one over will put us right here. one, two, three, four, five, and then one over. So when we draw our line, so that is our line, and the red line is the exact same. So how many solutions do we have? We have infinitely many solutions. And for some reason, I can never spell infinitely, infinitely. I always have to double check. Or you could just say many solutions. That's what I would rather say. Just say there's many solutions because infinitely has an E in here. One day I will get that right. Maybe I'm just doing it to see if you are following along. Infinite, it's infinite. Lee, that makes more sense. Okay, many solutions. So our last one, we'll do this one in red and the second one in blue. We have y equals negative one third x plus seven. So our y-intercept is negative one third. Our, excuse me, our slope is negative one third. Our y-intercept is seven. We go down one and three over. So we can graph this point. Our second equation I'll do in blue. So we have six y, yay, yay, yay. Six y equals negative two x plus 12. So I already subtracted two x from both sides. Divide everything by six. So we have y equals negative one third x 
plus 2. So we have y-intercept of negative 1 third and our, our slope of negative 1 third and our y-intercept of 2. And these are parallel. So how many solutions do we have? We only have none. No solution. See if I can get this on the line. It's always so tricky. All right, so there are no solutions. Okay. Um, that's it for today. Write down any questions that you may have. Um, I will be checking your notes next class. Uh, if you don't have a printer, this will be a little tricky because we are going to be doing a little bit of graphing. Uh, so I do recommend somehow getting that printed off. If you don't, that's okay. I just I apologize for the challenge. All right, keep up the good work. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.